Hello everyone and welcome to my video. Today we are going to make a tiny basket with the polymer clay and then I have these beautiful small flowers here that I have dried. They have different kind of colors and I really think they're cute. So we are going to make some small bouquets to put into the little basket. So let's get to it. So I have this mold, it is made of silicone, what is a mold putty, and um, I just shaped the mold putty into the shape I wanted it to and let it harden. I rolled out a piece of clay in the color that I wanted my basket to have, and I am draping that over the mold, smoothening out the clay really neat, neat and nice, and then I am cutting off the excess as you see right here. I have another old mold. This is made of amazing mold putty and I just mixed the amazing mold putty together and placed it onto some crepe paper and that gave me this tex texture, <laughs> texture on the mold. And now I can use it for giving um, this little basket some texture and this is actually a really really good mold to have so if you have some crepe paper it could be a good idea for you to do it if you don't have it you can use a toothbrush or something else to give it a bit of a texture when you're ready and you like the baskets look you just bake it when it have bacon and it has cooled down, I am taking the little basket of the mold and I am going to make a simple handle. I'm just cutting out a strip of the clay here in the length that I think is good for the handle. I want it a tiny bit smaller. So it's around three centimeters now and I'm using some of my bacon bond here all the way around the edge because I am going to make a uh, cane or sausage in a second and putting that on the wrist of the top here but first I am going to smooth the bacon bond everywhere um, and I'm gonna take that off my finger real quick and then I'm placing the handle just like this And then I rolled the cane or snake out of the clay into a thickness that I really liked. And I'm placing that around uh, the ends here on the top, just like you see me do. Cut off the excess and placing it really neat and well. And I'm doing the same on the other half of this little basket. After my second baking, I am going to paint it a tiny bit and I'm just using some dark brown um, paint here. This is the Citadel paint, but you can use whatever kind of paint you like. And I'm kind of dry brushing that onto my little uh, basket here. First with this darker brown. And then I'm actually using a uh, dark gold color again, just dry brushing it all over this little basket. And when I'm happy with it, I'm just leaving it to dry. I have this striped fabric that I like, and I'm just cutting out two small rectangles of it, like you see here. And I am uh, fraying one of the ends the one I want to hang on the outside of the little basket here. I did that on both of my pieces of fabric. Now I'm using my fabric tack and gluing on the end that I did not fray, placing that into my basket. I'm sorry that I'm out of uh, the frame right here. Um, so I'm placing it in the basket and uh, 
bending it over onto the other side of the basket, making sure it is sitting exactly like I want it to. And then you can glue down uh, the little corners of the basket if it's uh, making it sit a bit better. Um, and I did that with mine. And now it's time for the small bouquets. So I'm taking my dried flowers here. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of these. Uh, but I'm taking a few uh, branches in a few of the colors. So I'm just cutting off some small branches here. Then I have this Christmas napkin or a piece of a Christmas napkin and I am just folding it so that I only have the flat parts of it folded. Uh, I know it's hard to see, I'm sorry about that. And I'm just cutting out some squares of this. I'm not using the part that is kind of welded together, only the flatter parts of the napkins. So here I have four squares of napkin and I am only using one of these layers of the napkins and of course I'm taking the white piece here. So I'm taking one of these pieces of napkin and a bouquet of these flowers, placing them really nice together. And then I am going to take a tiny bit of my um, fabric tag and placing that here. Whoops, I just sneezed on that one. Anyway, I'm placing a dot of glue as you saw and placing the flowers on top of the paper and the glue folding up the bottom uh, corner and then folding first one side of the paper over and then the other side of the paper over just like you see here then i'm taking a tiny piece of a sewing th sewing thread and i am wrapping that around the bouquet and making a double knot on that and that is how I make the small flower bouquets. And I am going to make four different bouquets with uh, four different color combinations in them. And this little knot was teasing me a tiny bit. I'm cutting off the excess uh, string here. And there we have the first bouquet. I'm not going to show you the next three because it's going to be made the exact same way. Here we have the bouquets that I made and the little basket and I'm placing some glue here in the basket and on the flower or the bouquet like this and then I'm just gonna place it into the little um, basket here and I'm placing two in one side and two in the other side. And I'm just uh, really pushing the um, glue into the basket. And here we go, the little bouquet in the basket is all done. It was quite simple and easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.